Good morning everyone and in today's video HTC U23 Pro camera test. This smartphone can record all the way to 4K 30 frames per second but in the wide angle only full HD. So main lens and telephoto is in 4K. We are filming now in a wide angle so it's upscaled to 4K but in a minute we'll hit the main lens and then we see the 4k quality first let's test the macro okay so in wide angle there is no macro so there's also no autofocus in wide angle or is it no there's not let's switch to the 4k lens there you go see the difference of the quality okay macro unfortunately not Okay, and then the telephoto, yeah, it's okay, macro mode. Okay, let's go back. Oh, I can, I, I don't have to, I don't have to turn off and turn on. You can switch lenses during the recording, the main and telephoto. Wide angle is not available during the recording, because it's not in 4K. Okay. okay. Video st stability, I'm commenting what I see on the smartphone screen. This is a live comment and it is shaky, very shaky. On YouTube, this could be a different story running. There is an extra video stabilization, but only in full HD. Let me switch it on. See the difference? But full HD in this price range. No, nah. nah. let's go back to 4K. Test the telephoto. Okay, that's 8X. Definitely not a telephoto experience. I mean, everything, it's electronic zoom, so everything is like blurred, blurry screen. Let's come to another side. A little bit of colors for you. Oh, and the screen getting glitchy. I don't know how this is going to came out on YouTube, but I'm commenting live when I see on the screen, smartphone screen, and it's a bit glitchy. Strange. There is nothing on the background. I'm talking about no app in the background is working. Okay, okay. So, let's try. Autofocus. Of course there is no autofocus in the wide angle, but in the main lens it has to be. And it is um, quite fast. And blurring is pretty decent. Telephoto. Also available. Okay, okay, okay. If you want to vlog from the smartphone using a main lens, main lens with optical limit stabilization I'm not sure how good it is but uh, wide-angle lens there's a microphone on the uh, below the camera so the sound could be better because most of the smartphone has a microphone on the side not on the back below the cameras oh by the way, we could shoot HDR in full HD. And the sun, okay. Yeah. Just a little bit of sun. But vlogging experience. Front facing camera, unfortunately only in full HD. How's the sky? Not bad, not bad. Ah, full length of my arm. How can you hear me? How can you see me? Let me go this way. Is it going to struggle with the leaves? Sometimes camera do struggle, especially GoPros. Very good. But there is a beauty mode enabled, and I'm not sure how to disable. My skin is not that smooth. <laughs> wow. Now, now it looks a, a bit better, but still a beauty mode enable. 
pretty cool. I can shoot a picture. There you go. But I cannot switch lenses during the recording, front and rear, like in a Samsung. So I wonder why. It's a software limitation or hardware? That is the question. Okay. Let's continue to the... What features are we going to have? Night mode, but it's daylight. Video. Okay, it's too loud. Let me just... Let me take my jacket. Go somewhere. There's no... Okay, it's insanely loud close to the street. Anyway. We have a video. Okay. But only in full HD or 720p. Photo with AI and the tracking is really good. Portrait mode. Not bad. Not bad at all. You can see a little bit. See? Check out my hand. Okay, okay. And more, only only time lapse. But this is the front facing camera. And the main lens in the more department slow motion panorama time lapse and macro. 108 megapixel pictures. We come back to those pictures in a second. Portrait photo. In wide angle, one and two. Also, a HDR is available in all the lenses, which is great. Video, like I said, we have a HDR, but only in full HD. 4K is not available. And 4K, 720p, and 4K only in main lens and uh, telephoto, the wide angle. Is in full HD. Night mode and the pro mode, and in the pro mode you can literally change whatever you like. A lot of features. Also with autofocus and stuff like that. Alright. Let's see some pictures. Pictures. Look at them. You can make a wallpaper from this one. Wow. A stunning picture. Plenty of details. Let me show you. Landscape. Check out the clouds. More landscape. If we zoom in. Wow. Very intense amount of pixels. The whole picture is sharp, but when we go to the low light condition, it will oversaturate red, but most of the smartphones will do that at, at this spot in this star. You can see a different spot Everything came out really, really beautiful. Check out this picture. Wow. Selfies, but from the main lens, wow. Now that, pretty good. From the front-facing camera, it's a completely different story. Night conditions, oof, you see, at night. And the front-facing camera, ooh, I don't know. Not that great. This is the regular photo and night photo. I can see a bit blurry at night and a bit washed out. You will have to have a steady hands because, yeah. It was pretty dark and it still came out really good. Okay. Let me show you a video at night.
Hmm. Conclusion for the medium range smartphone, it's pretty decent. It's okay, I guess. What do you think about the video quality, audio quality, and the photo quality? Let me know in the comments below. And I think that's all I have. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next video. Bye.